current uh, cases of swine flu that we're seeing in the United States and Mexico, things are going to be changing rapidly. So it's important to keep checking back often to see what uh, recommendations are being changed from day to day. Things will change, but the important thing is not to panic and to remember our simple steps. Cover your cough, wash your hands, wash them often with soap and water. There are some emergency signs I want you to watch for. First of all, in children, some emergency signs in children. Fast breathing or trouble breathing. Bluish skin color. A child who's not drinking enough fluids. A child who's not waking up or interacting. A child who's being very irritable, so irritable that the child does not want to be picked up or cannot be consoled. And finally, a child with a fever and a rash. Now in adults, the warning signs that you sh should watch for in adults that means you know, need to go to an emergency department or perhaps even call 911 would be difficulty breathing or shortness of breath, pain or pressure in the chest or abdomen, sudden dizziness, confusion, and severe or persistent vomiting. One of the things you can remember is if you wouldn't have gone to the emergency department because of the way you're feeling, if you didn't know about these current cases of swine flu, you probably don't need to go. Over the past 10 years, there's been about a dozen cases where we know that swine flu has been spread from a pig to a human. What we're seeing now in mid-April is the swine flu being spread from person to person. And this is something that's fairly new to us. And in fact, the particular strain of swine flu that we're seeing now is a strain of flu that we haven't seen before. And that means that no one has any resistance to this swine flu including people who received the flu shot last year.